Hi honeys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is B. I do have information about me down below in the description box in case you're curious. I have a general reading for you guys, so we're going to get right into it. All right, honey, so here's what I'm seeing. I feel like there was a person in your past that really did not understand how valuable you are as a person. They didn't realize that by letting you go out of their life, they were going to miss this beautiful divine connection with you. I'm seeing that they were very immature, very immature is an understatement. I'm getting that they, they just really overlooked you. They didn't acknowledge your worth, your potential. Don't get me wrong, this person was very attracted to you, okay? Once they laid their eyes on you, they had this feeling in their heart chakra that you were the person that would be their last love, that you were the person that they were going to marry. But I'm hearing that when you came into their life, they were in this immature energy they did not want to acknowledge or hear spirits calling, angels calling for this connection to come together. They misjudged you, especially by your looks. They looked at you and then they kind of made up like a judgment like, oh, well, maybe this person is too good for me. Or they kind of looked at you and they said, you know what, maybe this person would be um, better off being with somebody else because I can't really give them what they need. So I'm hearing from spirit that they definitely sabotaged this connection and they almost have this fear like this sabotaged connection cannot be repaired. So that's something that they fear on a daily basis. I'm hearing that like in their waking moments, they pray and they ask their angels like, well, can I repair this? If I apologize, can I fix this? You know, but I'm hearing from your angels that you that you have definitely tried to forgive this person for not acknowledging your worth and not seeing you for how beautiful you are inside and out. So a lot of you were heartbroken by this person. Um, and I'm really sorry that you went through this because I'm seeing that a lot of you, this person worked hard to get your attention. And then once you gave them your attention, it's like they... They acted really cold towards you. They acted like they didn't have feelings for you. They acted like they could care less for you. But that's complete BS because I'm seeing that this person, their heart literally belongs to you. Like I'm hearing they tried to entertain other options. They tried to talk to other people and they know damn well that you are the only person for them. But they something about protecting their ego, like they want to protect their ego from you knowing just how much they want you there's something here about them not wanting you to know just how loyal overprotective and loving they feel towards you so and, and it's really sad because i'm seeing this connection has a really beautiful potential it has a lot of room to grow a lot of room to flourish and to be for you two to be happy but it's only going to be possible if this person decides to put down this ego that they have from being authentic and letting you know just how attracted they are to you. So you guys, I feel like that's something that you really need to know as well. This person, they want you to know that they think about you day and night. They think about you all the time. They also are very overprotective of you. They like to look after you. This person feels like they have to look over you, that they have to protect you, that they have to guard you because you are so precious, pure, innocent. You're a really kind soul and you're also so beautiful. Like whoever's watching this, you're very beautiful or attractive. You also have a lot of attention from other people, like without you even trying, okay? You walk into a room and it's like everybody stops and stares because you are so breathtaking to stare at. I'm also getting that this person really loves to stare at you. Whether you know this or not, this person is like on your social media, staring at your pictures, staring at your face. Like they're trying to do whatever it takes to get into your energy. A lot of you are into spirituality or you practice something spiritual 
and this person is trying to get on that level so that they can learn how to send you like telepathic messages so that they can dream and astro project to like meet you in the dream realm this person is attempting to get into your energy in every type of way because they have immense regret immense guilt for letting you go breaking your heart letting you down my nose keeps getting really itchy so i feel like this person um wow, they just want to apologize this is like very similar to the last reading that i did really recent but that's fine we can still um do like a continuation of that saga because i just keep picking up this person's energy so strongly they want to apologize they want to tell you that they're sorry this person is going to write you a message they're going to call you they're going to reach out to you they're also going to tell you like everything you've been wanting to hear over the past couple of months weeks days years however long it's been they're going to tell you that they were stupid for letting you go they were going to tell you that they have so much regret for hurting you they're going to tell you like can i have a second chance this person wants to have a second chance to redeem themselves they want to show you like they've grown up now i have to be very honest with you honeys okay because i like you guys to be prepared so has this person grown up yes absolutely this person has grown up they were the page of coins in reverse like this is the most immature of immature energies you could possibly be in maybe like the page of, of wands in reverse as well but i feel like they they just weren't ignoring you ignoring commitment ignoring their higher calling they were in no way uh, knowing about like spirituality knowing about their divine path it took them quite a long time now they have grown up but they're still in the page of coins energy so when they approach you they're going to be nervous i'm also hearing they're going to be honest and they're going to tell you like hey um i just want to let you know you know i i really like like what you're doing in your life i like your career i like how beautiful you are i know i have this like really tiny tiny coin to give you but would you accept my offer this person does not have much to give you but they're going to give you everything that they have because they really do love you they're in they're in awe with you okay so here's where the situation gets a little bit confusing and this is what i'm picking up on heavily this person decided to ignore this connection and ignore you because they told themselves like if i tell this person how attracted i am to them if i tell this person how deeply i am in love with them they're going to reject me i'm going to be embarrassed and i'm going to feel ashamed of myself they especially with the death card here they have had a change in heart they've realized like they're just gonna go for it okay they want a rebirth they want a new beginning and this person is going to try everything to like sweep you off of your feet i'm hearing them say like this time i'm going to do it right this time they're going to ask you out on a date this time they're going to um, not ghost you for some of you this person may have ghosted you they're going to not ghost you they're going to reply to your messages okay they're not going to leave you on red for a lot of you out there they're not going to treat you like you're an option and i feel like that's what this person was doing with the page of coins in reverse treating you like you were an option when now they know damn well that you are their divine counterpart and you are not an option you are the only option i'm hearing this person say like um they have tried to forget you they have tried to explore other options other people and they realize like they cannot get you out of their mind you are literally haunting this person's like dream this person's subconscious you are on their mind non-stop okay non-stop yeah i feel like for a lot of you naturally this person is very sexual they like to start out their connections like sexually they like to start out with like a lot of physical touch but not you honey because they know they know you don't play that okay they know that you know your worth they know that they cannot pull one over on you you see them for who they are you see them for exactly what their true identity is i'm getting that this person in the past maybe 
was a bit of a player that okay that's an understatement I, I hear spirit guide saying no no call them for what they were they were a player yeah this person was a player big time okay they thought that um by exploring other options that they were they were the shit but <laughs> okay so i have this saying and i say it all the time it's like sometimes some people walk around thinking that they're the shit when really they're a piece of shit <laughs> so, so anyway now i'm seeing here that this person is they're going to come very fast okay they're going to come towards you very very fast i just saw 12 21 this is my twin flame soulmate Ooh. The okay so we have the tower here this has been a, a reoccurrent theme in all of my readings that i've been doing they're going to come towards you very fast very unexpected and in a very surprising way because i'm picking up that a lot of you decided to let this person go to let this connection go a lot of you have realized like why am i simping over this person when they're treating me so terribly all right so the question is my honey that's watching this when this person comes around back into your life i just heard the tables have churned oh haven't they okay when this person comes back into your life and they're like oh hey hey beautiful majestic being um i really want a second chance the angels are allowing you to choose will you take this person back or will you say bye bye person you should have known my worth when you first met me and you shouldn't have treated me badly and you shouldn't have made me feel like i'm an option because guess what now you're an option oop all right okay so um spirit's so proud of you i don't i'm just hearing like this message a lot of you that are watching will resonate being my divine feminine okay so divine feminines you have really stepped into your element i just heard you're a bad bee okay you recognize your worth you recognize how beautiful you are for a long time you were heartbroken over this person because you were just asking yourself like why can't they see my worth i'm hearing this song by selena gomez why can't you recognize that i'm so rare so i just saw 1444 and i just got chills when i said that so a lot of you are really going to resonate with this pain this person breaking your heart and making you feel so terrible about yourself but the tables have turned sweetie so when this person comes around and they're like oh oh honey will you please take me back it's in your it's in your power now will you take them back give them a second chance or will you say no thank you and so spirit is just going to leave that up to you you've grown so much you are surrounded by plenty of options you have a lot of options you have people like drooling for you okay you don't even know some people are keeping this a secret because they're very intimidated by you and how beautiful you are but you have a lot of options and a lot of secret admirers so now it's your turn now you get to decide all right so we have a bunch of initials i'm just going to go through them so we have g b g t w T B N S M R J W V R N W H T M U I. Who? <gasps> lot of initials here. Surprisingly enough, well, oh, a bird just flew really close to the window. Surprisingly enough, I'm not seeing any words. The fact that um, this bird like literally flew, chilled by the window real quick and then flew by. Yeah, this person is definitely going to send you a message, okay? So keep a lookout, like on your DMs. They may try to call you, all right? Um, but they, they recognize now that you got it like that, that they're never going to let go of your addictive energy. All right, honeys, so that was your reading. I really hope you enjoyed that. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like down below. Make sure that you comment. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Like I always say, take care, be safe. I hope your life continues to stay as sweet as you are. Bye.